Okay, previously I made a video with a stump out and aluminum, and I thought it was a, a flash powder. I thought stump out was actually a, a potassium nitrate, but it is not. This is actually a sodium uh, bisulfate, and uh, thanks for the comments there for correcting me. And so this stuff here, stump remover, is actually supposed to be pot uh, potassium nitrate. Okay, so this is the correct stuff to use. And here's my uh, powdered aluminum, which uh, I've been making in my grinder. I had made a video on how to make this. And uh, let's try to make some flash powder. Okay. So here I have a mortar and pestle. So this is a better way to make chemicals mixed together and grind them up. It's a glass one, so it'll be inert to most most chemical attacks. And here's our scales. And of course, chemists prefer to use scales since uh, reactions are uh, based on the number of atoms or the number of moles, which is a uh, chemist's favorite unit. And the thing you can most easily measure is uh, how much weight a mole has, and so we can, because because if you have chemicals, they could be all fluffy or they could be packed down. So measuring the volume is not a good way to measure uh, the number of atoms in something. The weight doesn't change, no matter how, whether it's packed down or not. Oh, there. Let me um, before we start, I'm going to uh, make sure the scales. Tear the scale, Re reset the zero point here. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's resetting. Okay, there. Okay, so it's reset. And so that's the zero point there. And um, let's look at our chemical equation here. So we'll measure these out. We'll start with the powdered aluminum. And uh, I'm just going to make a small batch of it. So we'll make about point, well, went a little bit over. Wanted to do about 0.4 grams of that. Okay. And we'll put that in our mortar and pestle over here. And we'll do about maybe 0 0.6, a little bit more than 0 0.6, to try to get the ratio right. Let me clean off this. Always want to clean off your uh, spatula. You don't want to contaminate the chemicals, and really don't want to pour them back in to the container once you had them out, because that could get contaminations. And with the other chemicals, you don't want to contaminate your big batch if you want to do some pure chemistry. Okay, maybe I'll just pour, since it's hard to kind of get down to the bottle, I'll just pour some into here, into the top thing, then try to scoop, scoop that out with my little scooper thing. Okay. Four. Five. Six, and it's got to be a little bit more than 60%. Okay, seven. Okay, so that's probably pretty close to the right ratio. Okay. Okay, so let's pour that in to our mortar and pestle. And I was been trying to make gunpowder with that other stuff, and it was not working at all. I couldn't figure out why. So now I know why. It's because, let's take a look down here, because that was not potassium nitrate. Okay, so here is our, let's zoom out a little bit. Out. Okay, here's our mortar and pestle, and we got the 
powdered aluminum and the uh, potassium nitrate in there this time. We can just grind this stuff up. Okay. And then maybe we'll take it outside and see if we can light some of it on fire and see what happens. Okay. Should be very interesting. Okay, so I've been grinding this for quite a while in the mortar and pestle. It's looking pretty uniform in there. And um, I think we're probably good to go. So hopefully this stuff works this time. And I also had a request uh, to see if uh, it would light. I didn't have any of the, I think it was Visco fuse that someone suggested using, but I just had this uh, model rocket fuse. and. We can try to see if we can light it with something as low energy as that. Be a good experiment. Okay, so let's try dumping this stuff out. Okay. And um, maybe I'll stick the fuse in one end of it. Actually, I don't know if I can light it like that. I gotta bend it a little bit so I can get it up in the air to light it. Okay. Make sure we can still see that. Okay, so here we go. We'll try lighting this. Oh, that fuse is kind of annoying. It just shoots all over the place. Hmm. Let's see if we can light it with a match. Seems like it wants to go, but it's starting to spark up a little bit. It's not really catching on fire the way I was hoping it would. Hmm. Let me try something else. Okay, so this is what I did last time, as I used uh, one of these uh, propane torches to light it on fire. And I guess we'll try that again, since it's really not easy to Okay, so we'll get the, let me get the torch going a little bit. Okay, so here, we have the flame of the torch. Let's see if we can get this thing to burn. Oh, there we go. Wow. That was pretty bright. Okay. So, you may need to have a torch to light it, I don't know. But that fuse wasn't a very good test, but it was shooting all over the place. Anyway, we might try that again next time with something else. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching. Dr. Janes, and thanks.